Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effect tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create fake 3D shadow animation effect in After Effects without using any plugins, or any other third party. Without any further ado, let get started. Open After Effects, and create a new composition. I'm calling it Shadow. I'm using 1920 by 1080 resolution. 24 frame per second and my duration is 15 seconds longer. Right click and create a new solid layer. Disable caps lock to remove refresh disabled. Before we move on guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon beside it, so you will be notified when we post a new video. That being said let continue, go to effects and presets. If you can't see effects and presets, go to windows and select effects and presets. Search for gradient ramp, and drag it to the timeline. I'm changing my start color. I'll put the color code in the description. Also, I'm changing my end color. Then change the direction of the anchor point of the gradient ramp. Select ellipse tool. Change fill options to none. Now, Change stroke width to 40 pixel. Hold shift to keep perfect proportion and draw ellipse. Go to windows and select align. Select horizontal center alignment and vertical center alignment to align the shape to the center of the composition. Select add, then click trim paths. Toggle trim paths and add keyframe on end. Now change amount to 0%. Move timeline indicator to 2 seconds and change amount to 100% to add another keyframe. Select all keyframes and easy ease. Go to graph editor. If your curve is not like this, right click and select edit speed graph. Then change your curve to something like this. Press spacebar to preview. Select shape layer and change the color of the ellipse. Select shape layer and right click. Now select layer styles, then click inner shadow. Toggle inner shadow. Change opacity to 100%. Change color to white. Then, change blend mode to normal. Change angle to 30 degrees. Distance 10 pixel. Also, change size to 25 pixel. Again, right click. Now select layer styles, then click bevel and emboss. Toggle bevel and emboss. Change size to 55 pixel. Also, change angle 55 degrees. You can also change shadow color. Also, you can change the color of the inner shadow. This light and shadow add qualities like depth, dimension, perspective, realism and visual interest to my designs. Go to effects and presets, and search for drop shadow, and drag it to the timeline. Change opacity to 68%. Change direction to 205 degrees. Distance 75. Softness 156. 
Right click and create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for noise. Then drag it into the timeline. Change amount of noise to 6%. Also, search for curves, and drag it to the timeline. Change curves to something like this. I'm going to animate the background. Select background. Move the timeline indicator to 10 seconds. Add keyframe on start of ramp. Likewise end of ramp. Move timeline indicator. Press control with subtract button to zoom in. Now, move the anchor point of the gradient ramp to add another keyframe. Select all keyframe and easy ease. Select shape layer and move timeline to 8 seconds. Then add keyframe on direction. Move timeline to 0 seconds and change direction to 96 degrees. Toggle shape layer, then toggle bevel and emboss. Move timeline to 8 seconds. Then add keyframe on angle. Move timeline to 0 seconds and change angle to 133 degrees. Select all keyframe and easy ease. Press U to close all keyframe. Now let's see the preview. Move the timeline indicator to 13 seconds, and press N to trim the timeline. Now let's see the preview. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please make sure you like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel for more tutorial. Thank you.